Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 27. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at how to make rounded corners in HTML. So uh, right now, if you look at my browser, you can see, or not my browser, but my text editor, you can see that I've cleared out everything in the body. So we just got our normal template over here. Uh, CSS, I've obviously cleared everything out of there. Uh, and uh, if I refresh this in the browser, this is what it looks like. I know there was some text there, but because I failed the tutorial, <laughs> failed recording a tutorial a few minutes ago, right? So now that we have uh, taken a look at all of this, I also just want to look at my files. So obviously I've got my CSS, I've got my index. We've been working with this for some time, but I've added in two images that we're going to work with in this tutorial as well. So one of them is uh, a rectangular image and the other one is a square image. And um, those are the two images I want to use during this tutorial. So let's go ahead and add in an image to our website. Uh, and uh, we'll use the rectangular image first. Uh, there are slight size differences in these images. Um, but uh, yeah, no worries. Okay, so <laughs> source is equal to landscape mountains.ping. The great thing about that is because my index file and my image are in the same directory. I don't have to worry about any funny stuff before that. Okay, alt is just needed to be set to something. So we can just say me in the mountains, because um, that is that is a picture of me standing on a mountain, right? So come back here, hit refresh. And now we can see we've got this rectangular image in our browser. Uh, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see that the corners are all completely square as if this was a normal photograph that you took with the camera, which it is. Um, and so what I wanna do is round these corners and make them a little bit more nicer, <laughs> if that's a word, right? So let's create a class called rounded uh, corners. And then I'm going to select a property here called border radius. And border radius will round all of the corners across the thing that we're trying to round, right? So in this case, it's gonna round the top left, the top right, the bottom right, the bottom left. Uh, there are other properties that we can use. So there's border top left, uh, if I take that away, border top left radius, there's border top right radius, which will obviously only round uh, one corner at a time. So if you want to maybe just round this corner and this corner or something, then you can play around with those properties. But let's just uh, work with uh, border radius. We're just going to round all of them for now. I'm going to set that equal to 20 pixels. All right, save this, come back here, hit refresh. Ooh, <laughs> made the same mistake as I did earlier. I didn't apply a class to my image. So let's go ahead and add class is equal to and then grab this class name, copy that, paste it onto the image. All right, so now our image has a class of rounded corners, which we know is gonna uh, use the border radius property to actually round these corners. Let's come back here, hit refresh. And now we've got corners that are rounded by 20 pixels and all of them are rounded, right? Uh, we could also play around with this. Like I said, you don't have to round all the corners you can do border uh, top left radius and that'll uh, do just the top left corner. Uh, so now this corner is rounded, but all the others are square. Uh, we can do, if we just copy that, uh, border bottom right. So you can select all the corners one by one if you wanted to, uh, or just one of the corners at a time. So let's save this, um, come back over to the browser. Uh, come on, I don't think it's saved because my keyboard disconnected. Border, bottom, right, radius. Is that actually a property? Let's just check. Twenty pixels. Sorry, my keyboard disconnected a few seconds ago. It, it appeared on the other screen, not on the screen that you're looking at. So there we go. Okay, so now we've got this corner rounded, this corner rounded, and these two are still square. So if that's kind of the effect you were going for, you could do that. Um, but I'm just gonna just go back a few steps here and just have that setting set to 20 pixels. Right, 
Uh, something else you could do is instead of just rounding one of the corners at a time, you could round, um, instead of rounding just the corners, you could actually turn a square image into a circle, or in this case, we've got a rectangular image, so we can turn this into an oval. Uh, so let's create a class called uh, circle image, and I'm gonna set a border, uh, well, border radius of 50%. So what that does is automatically detect how big the image is and just round all of the corners by 50%. Uh, so if we take this class, copy that, and paste it over this other one, so we get rid of the other class and we use the circle image class, um, we now can hit refresh. And instead of having a rectangle with rounded corners, we now have an oval image. So if that's kind of the effect you were going for, then that's uh, kind of how you do that. Right? I understand that uh, an oval is a little bit of a weird shape. Not too many people use uh, an oval on their site, but uh, something that we do see quite often is circle images, especially on uh, YouTube's profiles. Um, when I log into YouTube and if I look in the top corner up here somewhere, there's a circle image of me. Um, and circles are quite popular on the web right now. So uh, if you wanna use, or if you wanna have a uh, complete an accurate circle, then let's just duplicate this. And instead of using a rectangular image, you need to make sure that you're using a square image. So in this case, the image is named uh, Square Mountains. So pretty much the same name, except landscape changes to square. Right, come back here, hit refresh. And now I've got my square image. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of a size difference between the two images. It's just because this one's 225 in height, whereas this one's 400 pixels in height, so this one is actually bigger. That's why it's it's bigger, <laughs> right? Uh, so now we've got an actual complete and accurate circle image. So that's just, uh, if you wanted to, to use a circle, uh, then that's the styling you get, right? You use, you, know, you create a class and you just use border radius 50% and then you get a circle. Um, and this doesn't only have to be applied to images. So if I maybe just comment this uh, code out, Uh, come on. Okay, if I comment this code out, I can also apply some of these classes to things like divs. And uh, it's not only divs, I can apply these things to buttons, I can apply these things to form elements, which, okay, we haven't learned about form elements and buttons yet, but we will learn about those in future, and you can actually use this property on those things as well. So let's just create a div over here. I'm gonna say some text in here, okay. And let's give it a class. Oh, man, my keyboard just totally disconnected on me again. I think the batteries must be going for that. Okay, so let's give this a class of, um, what is it, uh, rounded corners? Rounded dash corners. And I wanna give it a secondary class. Now this is something I probably haven't explained to you guys uh, in the past. I might have touched on it briefly, right? But I, I think I definitely said, when you give a class a name, you can never use spaces in a class name, and that's because whenever you use a space in a class, it becomes a secondary class. So in other words, here I have one class, but I can add a second class, a new class, which I'm just gonna call uh, block. Save this now, um, and if I come back over to the browser and hit refresh, I've got this div with some text, but we can't exactly see uh, the rounded corners at the moment. so. Right now this class should be getting applied, but I can't see that until I actually add a little bit more extra styling onto this div. So let's uh, let's grab that block class. Uh, come on, block. And um, I just wanna give this a background color of uh, blue. And then I want to give it, um, uh, just a height maybe of 400 pixels and a width of 400 pixels. All right, save this now, come back over the browser, hit refresh. Okay, and there we go. Now we can see that we've got rounded corners on our div and our div is 400 by 400. So we've got the rounded corners there and the text is being affected somewhat because it's like 
going out of the top corner over there. Um, I don't know if I should zoom in to make that a little bit more clear. But yeah, the text is kind of like popping out of that box. So something we might want to do to fix that is add a little bit of padding in here as well. So let's go padding um, and we'll just add it all around the block of 20 pixels. Come back here, hit refresh. And now the text is actually within the block. It's, it, does, it doesn't pop out of that, uh, that rounded corner over there, right? Um, so that's just how you fix a problem like that if you ever have one. And it doesn't have to be just with background colors as well. So, I mean, we could get rid of this background color and have a border of one or let's go three pixels, solid uh, red, save, uh, refresh. And now we've got uh, rounded borders instead of a rounded background color. Our text is still in there because of the uh, padding, right? So, yeah. If you guys ever wanted to create divs or buttons or images that have rounded corners, that's how you do it. And that is all I have for you in this video. I just wanna send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. They run a coding bootcamp with courses on iOS development, UX design, and web development. And they'll teach you everything you need to know to get a job within this field. And they'll do it within 12 weeks. So check out their website, the link is in the description below. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that I sent you. Special thanks to the guys whose names are on screen now. These guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon and I really appreciate that. Uh, while you're still here, there are a few other things that you can do to help out. So follow me on social media and check out some more of my content and I'll see you guys next time.